Topping our news, vandalism in Walker County, Georgia has the sheriff's office on high alert. A church and high school were hit over the weekend. Our Mary Frances Hoots is live from Ridgeland High School with more information. Mary Frances. David, well, this is the third time the high school's been hit since March, the second time just this month. So this time around, it appears that the vandals came near the football field and paint, spray painted a bunch of their equipment in bright orange paint. So take a look at some of the damage right here. This is their football trailer holds a lot of their equipment. The wrap on this is $5,000. So they crossed out Ridgeland and spray painted LFO, which is a rival high school. There was four, five different places that had been tagged or spray painted with fluorescent orange paint. Richland High School head football coach Kip Klein showed up for practice Monday morning and found his equipment covered in orange paint. The sheriff's office shared this video surveillance photo, which shows the man they say racked up $5,000 in damage. The high school has been hit two other times recently, adding an additional $5,000 in damages. It's very frustrating because we don't have money just sitting aside to do that, uh, to fix those things. Just around the corner from the high school is Mission Ridge Baptist Church. Both uh, places being in close proximity, uh, we are looking to see maybe if there's a connection. Walker County Sheriff Steve Wilson says investigators don't know how the person got inside. I saw this had been taken off on the cross and there was an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with some uh, profanity that was that was written on that. Head Pastor Ted Verville says fire extinguishers were discharged, banners were torn down, flags thrown on the ground, notes with profanity were all over the church, and the person urinated inside. It's already cost the church $7,000 to clean up the damages. Vandalism to a church, place of worship, uh, is you know, has to be one of the lowest crimes that someone could commit. Because of the close proximity of the school and church, investigators think the two crimes might be linked. However, they do not think the person responsible for this is responsible for the previous two vandalisms at the high school. The first one took place in March, and then there was one that took place at the beginning of the June, and then most recently a couple days ago. But if you have any information that can help investigators, you're asked to call the Walker County Sheriff's Office at 706-638-1909. In Walker County, Mary Frances Hoots, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.